All right, now we're going to talk about document size. Document size is the most confusing, underlooked, overlooked situation in Photoshop. Whenever you're doing an illustration, I don't care what it is. If you're doing a stamp, if you're doing a poster, or if you're doing a billboard, the one rule that you should always follow is draw or design big when it comes to rasters and shrink small. Photoshop is a raster based program. It deals with pixels. If you can manipulate pixels or know how pixels work and how big pixels are, you can pull off some very nice illustrations and not be subjugated to the speed of your computer. I think I made that word up, but yeah. Let's say at the mercy of the speed of your computer. The first thing you gotta do is file new. Think about where you're at. If you're at home and you only have a crappy inkjet printer, good. Let's say I go somewhere like uh, a print shop. What do they have? They have that same crappy inkjet pa paper, the printer, the ability to print on an eight and a half by 11 document. So I always kinda make my document about eight and a half by 11 because I can always scale it back down, scale it back up very quickly, very easily. You should also think about your end product. Let's say my end product is 24 by 36, a poster, okay? When you, I get done showing you the eight and a half by 11, the 24 by 36, same workflow applies to that too. So let's worry about eight and a half by 11 first. Also, because I'm a real world type of person, I want to make this at a very high resolution just because when I lower it down to 72, I know exactly what real world is. So I leave this at 300 and then I hit OK. Okay, so image, image size. So right now, this width is 2550 by 3300 pixels, okay? I deal with pixels, not inches, a lot of times. I know the bigger these numbers are, the better my resolution is going to be. I also know that if this number is too high, it will lag like no other. So, what I'm gonna do is copy this one number by Command C on the keyboard or uh, Apple C. And then go down here to 72. Okay, wow, that changed these numbers a lot. Lowered them right down, right? Well, I'm going to paste this back. Now you can see the real world measurements for uh, 8.5 by 11 is actually 35 by 45 at 72 dots per inch. The lower this number is, the faster your speed is. The higher these are, the better the image. So, let's hit OK before we get this in our heads. Um, what I'm gonna do is simply take a paintbrush and draw like some of these dots in the corner here, okay? Let's go File, Print. It's so big, it doesn't fit on an 8.5 by 11 paper. But that's where scale to fit media comes in. And it now fits at a scale of 22%. <laughs> I just took this really big, huge poster billboard and shrunk it down to 8.5 by 11. I can't even tell you how much detail is going to be added because it's like a shrinky dink. If you ever played with shrinky dinks in your life, you draw on them, you shrink them down, and the detail is like amazing. So, all right, so let's do this one more time. I want to show you one more thing. New, 8.5 by 11, 300 dots per inch. Let's do this one step further. Let's say I want ungodly details in my illustration and still be uh, moving around my document pretty fast. So, let's do one more of these. I'll copy this, 72 this one, 
paste this one back. And let's say I want to um, up the resolution of it more than 35 by 45. Well, shoot, I can go 66. But look at this number changed also. That's good because that's called constraint proportions. Let's do that same trick. Okay, so now I got this really big document, and I can I can still you know really hose down on the. It's really fast. I can kind of sketch around pretty good, but when I go to print, it's really big. And look at the, all this little detail around the outside edge that I can't even see. If I hit scale to fit media, bam, it fits perfect on an eight and a half by eleven. All right, good. So um, what I'm getting at is we will have to have a sketch pad, okay, that we always use. For right now, we just need a sketch pad that actually works with finding out how the brushes paint. So I want to be able to design my brushes around the same pixel structure as my document. So set so 300 dots per inch, and then I'm going to immediately go into image size and copy this. Now you do this enough times, like I don't even do this anymore. I just know exactly what my pixel dimensions are in real wor world. So I don't, after a while of doing this, you won't have to keep doing this whole little number crunch thing. Until you get it in your brain, however, that's how it's got to be. Next, let's design a document that's good for um, painting on. And I think I'll cover this in the next video. So just make two layers and go on to the next video. The layer button's right here, and that's it.